In this episode, we'll write a small program to create table. Okay, so going back to our, let's call this table. Um, and we'll create um, create table SQL command. Uh, let's call this variable as create team SQL string. Maybe we can put this on top so that we can reuse this. And then we'll say SQL is equal to, and here, uh, so create table. Okay, so this is uh, the syntax. And then the name of the table, um, let's say we want to create a table called context. Okay, and then within this, um, let's say that uh, we want to have a field called um, Person ID, okay, and then after the name of the field, you can specify the data type. So let's say that the ID will be integer, and then um, we'll have first name, last name. So let's say first name, and then this can be bar char that will be text, okay, and then I'll show more, you know, like data types that you can refer to. Uh, and then here within the brackets, you can specify. Uh, number of characters that you, you know, like the limit that you can put to it, okay? Like this one, okay? Um, and then let's say first name, and then comma will be last name. And then um, let's say we want to have address as well. Um, maybe city. And let's leave it at that for now. Okay, so this will be our uh, SQL command. Um, and now using the connection, we will start to uh, execute this command. So we'll just reuse this. Let's say, it's basically when we run this command, if connection is open, it will open the connection, okay? Uh, so if connection is open, then we'll say, um, dim command as new oledb command and then from here we'll specify our sql and then this will be our connection string okay so we'll say um sorry this will be our connection db connection okay and then uh we will execute this command uh, if you're reading the data, we'll use the reader. Otherwise, we'll execute the um, execute non query, and then after we execute this, we'll we'll close out the connection. Okay, so similarly, we can execute uh, other different type of update, delete, and all this. I'll cover all those examples, and then post this. We can say message box uh, maybe completed. So let's try and run this. Earlier we created a ribbon, but we didn't add anything. So maybe we can add uh, the ribbon tab. F4, I'll just put the name as um, DB tools or something like that. Oh, sorry. Um, is the caption all label? Okay. DB tools. And then from tools, uh, we'll first grab and bring in the, 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 the groups okay and then let's put a button we'll call the create table from here um, let's call this label as label okay, by the way this ribbon part is not important uh, the idea is about uh, working with database okay so I'm gonna bring this up Let's see if this works. Okay, so here is our ribbon. So it is completed, so I think it worked okay. Press F5, and here is a table that we create from there, okay? Um, so that is one sample. I'm gonna come back here. Close this. 
And this is all for now. Um, so now you know how to create a table. I'll show you more reference to the data type. This is a sample. So for now, I'll just comment this out. So in this example, uh, it has all the major data types and example of, uh, you know, like the field. This is a field name and the data type. So you can specify, for example, this is uh, the field name and this is the data type. And then you can also specify, you know, like uh, the constraint here. Uh, this will be, this one is the primary key, which is being set up from here. Okay. And then um, to the to the specific field, you can also specify what sort of data it's going to include. Um, and then this will be the name of the table, which we already covered here. So uh, if you need a reference, uh, you'll find this in the video description. Okay. Um, so again, all the field names, data type, uh, if you want to set up uh, set a constraint, then you can use this uh, syntax or uh, SQL as your reference. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this table to, um, we'll just say the table two for this one. I hope there's no table two, yeah. Um, so let's try and run this one. I'll press Shift F5. Okay, so it's going to be good. Here's our table two, and then if you go to design mode, you'll see this is primary key. Um, primary key for auto, yeah. And then um, this is byte. So if you go within it, you'll see the field sizes. And then uh, the earlier ones byte, this is integer, long, single, and so on, okay. So you'll find all this um, money, currency, and then coming down here, uh, long text, date and time, all this, okay? So that will be pretty much.